In today's lecture, we'll be talking about an introduction to the value of lucid dreaming. Why the psychology, uh, the science of psychology should be interested in lucid dreaming. Uh, why therapists and researchers should also be interested as it shows us more about the actual nature of the psyche. Uh, in the next lecture, we'll talk about the induction of lucid dream, how to become lucidly aware, how to create a stable lucid dream, and how to experiment within that environment. In the third lecture, we'll be talking about engaging dream figures and the principles of the dream space. And finally, in the fourth lecture, we'll be talking about interacting with the inner self, emotions, and healing. So lucid dreaming has been defined by the American Psychological Association as a dream in which the sleeper is aware that he or she is dreaming and may be able to influence the progress of the dream narrative. So I, I think that's a lovely definition. But for most of us lucid dreamers, we use a much simpler term, which is when you realize in a dream that you're dreaming. Something happens in the dream. You see your deceased grandmother. You realize she's been dead for 20 years. And at that moment, you have the idea, wait a second. She's been dead for 20 years. This must be a dream. So when you realize in the dream that you're dreaming, that's the fundamental criteria for lucid dreaming.